and he, uh, Dr. Abi, is a follower of what is called the prosperity gospel. Now, this is very powerful in the United States. That a was lot. That his mother prophesies when uh, when he was seven years old that he would become the the anointed seventh king to unite and rule over Ethiopia. When I was just seven years old, and my mother imparted a prophecy. I would one day ascend to the throne as the seventh king of Ethiopia. ...of this ideology, and he actually named his political party the Prosperity Party. We have been talking about poverty for many, many years. When you talk about something again, 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 it becomes your friend. That's why we are trying to avoid the word poverty now. We, now, that's why we adopted the word prosperity. We're dreaming big. He believes his rule in Ethiopia is divinely ordained. Wow, now this was something that he actually said at his... He believes that story by his mother? Do you think that he believes that story is actually true? In small town in Oromia, a destiny was whispered into the ears of a young Abi Ahmed. 